Hello friends, welcome to AngularJS tutorial chapter 1. Today we'll learn the basic of AngularJS and then we'll go for a small example. The topics are what is AngularJS, why AngularJS, key feature of AngularJS and then we'll go for a simple example of AngularJS. So what is AngularJS? AngularJS is an open source web application framework or JavaScript framework. It is developed and maintained by Google and a group of individual developers. Why AngularJS? It makes easier for the developers to write client-side applications using JavaScript in a clean model view controller. It works with HTML, CSS and JavaScript to make the development of web app easier and faster. Applications written in AngularJS are cross-browser browser compliant. AngularJS automatically handles JavaScript code suitable for each browser. AngularJS is open source, completely free and used by thousands of developers around the world. There are a website name made with AngularJS where you can see all popular websites developed with AngularJS. I'll quickly show that website. So search in Google Angular, sorry, made with Angular to this link. So you can see these are the websites which are developed with AngularJS. Key feature of AngularJS. The first is two-way data binding. Two-way data binding is probably the coolest and most useful feature in AngularJS. Data binding is automatically synchronization of data between your view, that is HTML, and the model, this JavaScript variable. So in this image, you can see whatever you, whatever you will update in your model that will get updated in the view. Again, whatever you will update in your view that will get updated in the model. Second is routing support. AngularJS is also called a single page application. With the advent of HTML5 and its related APIs, we don't want to redirect our user to a new page every time they click on something. Instead, we want to load the content asynchronously on the same page and just change the URL in the browser to reflect it. See, here I have shown one example where if a user click on view order, he can see the URL only will get changed, not the page. Again, when he will click on insert order, only the URL will get changed, not that page. On the same page, you will be able to do all these things. Third is dependency injection. AngularJS has a built-in dependency injection subsystem that helps the developer to create, understand, and test the applications easily. MVW framework, yes, it's MVW framework, that is model view whatever, where whatever means whatever works for you. The reason is that AngularJS can be used both as model view controller and the model view view model. And there are many more advantages, we'll discuss all in our upcoming tutorial. For now, we just want to start with a small example, so that end of this tutorial, you get a better idea of AngularJS. So if you remember, I in my uh, previous tutorial, I used this double braces, ng app, ng controller, ng model, but I didn't explain there. So uh, these are actually our directives. This double braces uh, is not uh, a directive, uh, but I have written just here to explain in this in this tutorial. So double braces, that double curly braces is just a binding expression here. So ng app, ng controller, ng model are the directives and there are a lot many. So if you go to the AngularJS website in this develop, uh, you'll just get the if you come down, you can see this directive list. So actually they have written it in the uh, camel case uh, format uh, notation. So uh, you can also write your own directive, custom directive you can use, but uh, whatever directive you'll use is like a camel case means ng and init. So when you are going to use in HTML, you have to use like ng hyphen init. So some directive override 
build in HTML element such as form e tag. Now in this example, you can see I use this curly braces, double curly braces. So what is this double curly braces? Inside this double braces, you can write expression and AngularJS will resolve the expression and return the result for you. So let's will write here 5 plus 4. We'll see what it will Here if we refresh this again, if I do quote this angular plus js and if I save it it will return the exact result yes now I'll just remove the geo javascript file which I used earlier just make it a bit simple to explain ng app. So you can see this ng app is my in HTML tag. So that means this Angular is responsible for all this file. But if suppose I remove this ng app here and if I put it here. So that means Angular will take care only for this development. So if I write something outside this div, what will happen? We'll see. Div. We'll copy this from here. Now, if I refresh my page, resolve this expression. So, whatever inside this div ng app, if it is a child node inside that, that will get resolved. But if it outside this div scope, it will not get resolved. So, Angular JS will not take care of that. Now we'll make it inside this div. We'll see the result now. So now you can see this div is inside this. That is child of this. Now if I refresh it. So here I am getting the exact angular JS without that quotes. Now what will happen if I have no ng app in my HTML file? So there is no angular JS that means. So if I refresh this page here, it is not solving this expression. Now if I have two ng app in same HTML page. So I'll make it here div I'll remove it here from here and this also so now I have two ng app here now if I refresh this web page one is proper angular js and other in the code only take care of the first ng app the ng app it is simply ignoring so that's all for this and ng controller in the next video so thanks for watching and have a nice day